is, we are getting incredibly close to Ruin's release date. Uh, it's absolutely insane. What better way to wait for Ruin's release? Watching a new series all about Fred Bear's family diner. I don't know why I did that all stood up for. I, I don't... <laughs> I don't know. Fusion discovered a really interesting series all about Fred Bear's Family Diner. It's very unique. There's four videos so far ranging from a minute to two minutes long. But yeah, it's all about Fred Bear's Family Diner apparently. And you guys know I love Fred Bear's Family Diner. I've always been a big fan of like vintage and history. Maybe one day, still fingers crossed. I've been saying this for years. <laughs> I'm going to say it again. A Fred Bear's Origins game. Please. One day, a terrible incident has occurred at Fred Bear's family diner. After horrified families were evacuated, the crime scene was inspected and the body was removed. It looks like as if no one will enter the beloved establishment ever again. But not everyone or everything has left the building. The actual series is called First Night as Freddy, which is really interesting. I think it's saying like the person who got murdered, it's their first night possessing Freddy or something like that. When it comes to a character's perspective, nearly every FNAF fan creation will be from the perspective of a security guard, urban explorer, or a runaway child. We always see his or her reaction on the first night, but I wondered what would it be like from an animatronics perspective? What would a first night alive for them look and feel like? So yeah, that is incredibly unique. I'm looking forward to this, guys. So yeah, here's the first one, guys. Let's go. First night as Freddy. We'll go through it at the end. If anything's really cool. Well, there's the stage, guys. Fred Bear and Spring Bonnie. Oh, and there's all the blood around him. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, that song, though. Shouldn't be dancing to that. So, look, the Freddy's just like, what is going on? So confused. Yeah, everybody just ran out, like all the plates and stuff. It's really creepy how Bonnie's still inactive. He's the only one active right now. Oh my god, he can't control his body, like his parts are all over the place. Oh god. Oh, he's, I think he's realizing who he is. Or she. Oh, he looks... Oh, somebody's actually... Some... Somebody's there watching. Oh, okay. I swear these are the juniors models, by the way. Both Bonnie and Freddy, but they've been changed to Fred Bear and Spring Bonnie. So yeah, somebody is actually watching this happen. Somebody who didn't leave the building. It does give you a bit of perspective. Like, imagine... Imagine getting murdered by William Afton and then waking up as an animatronic, not knowing what's going on. So yeah, it, it's horrible. It's horrible. And you can see how terrified Fred Bear is. And just confused what's going on. I do notice, though, Fred Bear's eyes change. So Fred Bear's looking over here. His eyes turn purple. Is it because he's angry or, like, he realizes somebody's there? The next one is called Unshackled. Oh, wow. They're still on stage. Oh, there you go. There's a dude hiding. Oh, it's a, it looks like a worker. Oh, my God. Look at Fred Bear. He can't... He's st I think he's, he's still trying to learn. No, he's... Is he bolted to the stage? That is a really cool detail. We'll go back to that. Oh, my God. So, Fred Bear is now free. Unshackled. Oh, there's the guy. Oh, he's getting... Oh, he's getting the bolts off the other foot. Oh, my God! That is terrifying. That is terrifying. So, Fred Bear's still learning on how to control this new body. Oh, and the lights have gone out. Oh, did... I think the worker tried to shut off the power. But, it, oh, wow. Parts and services. 
You can hear whispering then. I heard whispering in Fredbear. In Chuck E. Cheese and the pizzeria restaurants, the animatronics in real life are bolted to the stage so they don't fall or, you know, if they get pushed or anything, they're not just going to collapse and fall over. Also, a, a really cool detail as well is that the investigation is still ongoing. You can see these, um, I don't know what you call them, but they're used in investigations to, let's say there was like uh, a knife that was on the stage. They they mark it and put like a, a, a one or a two or, or whatever, or like a blood stain at three, stuff like that. That's a great shot as well. I love that. And the location looks really vintage as well. I didn't mention that on the on the first video. It looks like a vintage Fred Bears. To be fair, I would have just run out. I would have run out the pizzeria by now. You got enough time, buddy. I also love the fact that the spirit is slowly learning how to, uh, you know, function as an animatronic. And I also love how throughout all of this, Spring Bonnie is just inactive because it, it's, it's literally just a lifeless animatronic. Okay, so the next one is called Hideaway. Ooh. So I think this is a flashback. Oh, there's an endoskeleton. Oh, okay. The what you do? Ah! Why are you hiding? It's your brother. William Afton! What you do? <laughs> Why are you hiding? It's your birthday, my boy. All your friends oh, are here. I think this is you. William's son. I think this is the boy victim. Is everything all right, bud? So is this William? Look, I know it's not the most inventive place to throw Or Henry? Party, seeing as you're with us here after school every day, anyway. But there's a great turnout for you. We've invited your whole class. We closed the place just for you. We decorated Arcade Alley and Prize Corner, and uh, I asked Chef John to double the batter of the Freddy's Chocolate Fudge Cake, <laughs> so it's going to be enormous. They scare me. Scared of the animatronics. Fred Bear and Bonnie? Well, what's wrong with it? They're running so well now. I spent months tweaking the movement on them to get them to move as smoothly as they do. New servos, new skins. I even got the new hydraulic jaw for Freddy. That was ordered express from Aaron in Florida. Cost a small fortune, mind you. I love all the background and stuff. You should go and enjoy your party. I've got to set the next show up. Okay. Go have a bite to eat. I'll catch up with you. So, yeah, the um, his son is terrified of the animatronics. I think that's who gets killed into Fredbear. Oh, I like that a lot. It's literally, it's literally FNAF 4 vibes here. The kid's scared of the animatronics. It's his birthday. So... It, you know what's coming up, right? I love this room, though. This room looks amazing with the endoskeleton in here, like the blueprints of Fred Bear. November 1983. It makes sense to me that this kid is going to be Fred Bear. You know, he's terrified of the animatronics. And then the reaction of Fred Bear in the first video where he, he touches Spring Bonnie and he gets scared because uh, he's, he's scared of the animatronics and he realizes what's going on. This is setting things up nicely. So the next one is called Reflections. And he was going into parts and services. On episode two. Oh, there's a stage. Oh, flying. No Fred Bear on stage. Is this the perspective of the... The worker. Was... Oh, there we go. Oh, my God. Oh, nobody's there. <gasps> Look. It's the same room. Does... Is he calling dad? Oh, this is quite sad. Especially with the music. Can't 
costume, Bonnie Fredbear. Oh my god, still can't control it properly. A oh, Fredbear's family dying a poster. That's cool. Oh, is there a mirror? Oh no! Oh, that is horrible. That is horrible. Imagine. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, wow. To me, that's him calling out for his dad, like asking for help. That's the first thing you'd think of, you know, when you're a kid, you look for your parents for help, right? It looks like he's going into the parts and service because that's usually where his dad is working, right? Oh, look, what's this? It's me. Jacksepticeye, out bit Ryan, Matt Pat, that's cool. Attington, oh, uh, yeah. I'm just a restaurant crew. I'll take it. <laughs> This is the last one, by the way. This is the highlight for me. All, all four that we've watched together, this is the highlight for me. This is very, very emotional. Just imagine this happening. Just imagine how he's feeling right now, like realizing, seeing in the mirror, um, but then seeing himself in the mirror, realizing that he is Fredbear. It's really confused. Push, panicking, pushing everything away to have a proper look. You can hear him panicking. Oh, man. Now, it's interesting that, that he does this. I know he's, like, checking the mouth. Is that because the bite happened? The last thing the crying child would see is Fredbear and the, the mouth of Fredbear. And I think he realizes when he looks in the mirror, like, oh, my God, this is where I died. Like, this is, this is where I got killed. So, yeah, this is definitely going to be a series, guys. Definitely going to be more after this. I don't know how many more. Because I, I, I think this is great so far. Really, really well made. Unique and different as well. These aren't VHS tapes. They're like little mini... It's like a mini movie, basically. So, yeah, thank you, Jake Ryan Southgate, for making these. Uh, I'll make sure to subscribe. And if you guys want to check these out for yourself and support the creator, I'll put a link in the description. It's like watching a mini series together or something. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Take care, lots of love, and I'll see you all next time.